you through the main enhancement of the Firebase Clicker app where we're building a special version of the app for teachers that will allow them to change the question in real time while the app is running. On the design side, uh, we should note that the label that used to contain the question has now been replaced by a text box and we've also added this question update button. Uh, we've done this because we want to give the user the ability to type in a question and to press this button to get the question updated. Uh, previously we had a label which is uh, only can be written on the app side, cannot be written by the user side. I've taken the data change block and in addition to the agree and the disagree tabs I've also added this question tab and if the question changes what we want to do is we want to take uh, the value that's been returned and put it into our global question variable. And let's see where we use that global question variable inside the app. Uh, you can see, first of all, we've created this additional uh, global variable called question in addition to the agree and disagree counts that we had in previous versions of the app. And uh, you can see also that when we store the database values now, in addition to storing the agree and the disagree tags, we also store the question tag. Uh, the other place that we use this is when the update question button is pressed. That's this uh, button update. You see that we take the whatever was typed into the question and we uh, basically store that into the store DB uh, values which triggers this block right here. Now let's look at the teacher version of the app in action across two devices simultaneously and we'll show how each of the devices can update the question in real time and have it show up on both devices. Here is the teacher version of the app running across two different devices and I'm just going to demonstrate now how if I change the question on one of them it'll show up on both. So to do that I just click in this field over here and I eliminate the question that was there and I just type in uh, something like yes or no and all I have to do now is hit the update button on the question and you can see that it shows up on both devices likewise if I come over to this one and type in something here and hit the update button you see it shows up on the other device as well mm -hmm.